Boom, we're back. And in today's video, I took on Cody Steele, a high level wrestler and jujitsu black belt. Cody likes to dump people on their necks to knock them out, shove his fist through their skull, and he's the training partner of William Tackett, who just had his way with me. Oh, and it looks like he's a content creator, but someone else will have to verify. And then there's me, a nerdy black belt that occasionally chokes people just for some internet clout. Let's see if I have what it takes to beat this high level athlete and redeem myself at the Brazilian Fight Factory. The round gets started and the great thing that we get to see is I have somebody else to actually engage in the wrestling with me, but let's just hope it doesn't end up like this. We start off by circling so we can see who gets the better angle before Cody gives me a grip check to make sure I'm not as soft as I look. Cody then tries to get some momentum going by faking some shots at me, but I've learned from women when something is fake so he's not going to surprise me here. Now Cody tries to grab my wrist so I use this to pull him into a Russian tie to set up my offense. He starts to step backwards with his right leg so I won't be able to go to a single leg and it looks like I'm going to have to diversify my attack. Since his leg is back, he has too much weight forward and I use this to take his back and I shoot in on a single leg immediately, to which he counters with a butt drag. I have to clench onto his leg here so he doesn't take my back, so he counters by pulling me backwards and I take this opportunity to let go of the leg, sit up, and then we engage in the dogfight. Of course I look for the chin strap guillotine from here, but he counters with a duck under and I have to roll both of us otherwise he's going to take my back. His timing on this duck under was excellent, so I had to suicide roll both of us and compromise my position, but at least it put me in a better spot where I could continue to scramble. As he's trying to roll to my back, I'm able to clear my right ankle, which allows me to hit him with my own rolling back take, and then I have to pull him backwards the other way as he kept his hips higher, and I can finally complete the first takedown. Now it's pretty unfortunate I haven't watched Gordon Ryan's body lock passes yet because this is the perfect position for it. Cody catches me slacking because I'm taking a bit of a breather after that scramble and he's going to clear my hands and then start to hip up. Using the power of his OnlyFans hips, he's able to stand up and I try and take his back but I have too much weight going forward where I'm not able to keep him down the mat, but he gives me a blessing by hanging onto my legs so I'm able to pull him to the crucifix, until he completely styles on me by bridging into me and rotating away from my legs and I have to follow him to stand up or lose position. He also returns the favor with his own Russian tie by circling into me, then he kicks my leg out for a nasty trip, and he returns me to a day one wrestler. Cody definitely wanted to keep this a high and intense round, so he goes for an armbar even though he's a little bit too high, and thankfully I'm able to kick him off of me and we return to standing. Now this was going to be a grueling 7 minutes, because he's already looking for his next drag into a single leg, but because he's at my ankle, I'm able to turn and kick free, and then he tries another trip. If you guys aren't aware of Cody's style, he likes to use a lot of upper body drags and trips. These are very safe takedowns for Jiu Jitsu because you don't put your head anywhere close to a guillotine or other attacks, so it makes sense why this is such a big focus for him. Meanwhile, I focus heavily on using Russian ties or underhooks because it's an easy way to get to somebody's neck, and it's also very safe so you don't have to go into any submissions. Cody hits me with another trip attempt and then goes for a fake shot to clear himself of the underhook and I have to counter his shot by going to the front head. To the surprise of absolutely nobody, I use this opportunity to latch onto a guillotine even when he goes for my shin. And since I keep my chest on top of his head, this allows me to keep standing, but he does a nice job peeling my hands so I lose the choke, but at least I'm not on bottom. Cody goes for another duck under, and he uses this for a nice entry in my leg, and likely he could have finished this takedown if he wanted to, but we were too close to another group and we had to recenter. For our next tie up, he hits me with a drag and I have to pull guard so he doesn't get to my back, but as I keep my guard open, he tries for a knee slide and I work up to the super offensive position known as Turtle. While this position may only appeal to kids and nerds that appreciate the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I've started to make this a staple of my game. You're in a good spot where you can defend against hooks and if you have any wrestling, you can go to the front head and start to work a takedown. Even though I'm on my knees, I'm still able to grab control over his foot and ankle so I can drive forward and now I'm out of that bad position and I can go back to sitting to a more neutral spot. I start throwing my legs up pretty freely because I didn't get the sense he was a footlocker, which allows me to invert and I can start working a different game. When you're inverting in these strange positions, it's extremely important to keep control over their shin. It stops him from attacking my feet, and it's much easier for me to move around. Eventually I find my way to his back, and this S-grip is going to be extremely important. We can see that his hips in a better position, but because I keep this grip over his stomach, it allows me to stay on top of him even when we go to stand up and I can lift him to return him to the mat. But then he continues to stand up, and I went for the same mistake as before where I had too much weight in the wrong direction, and he freed himself. And in case you didn't get enough wrestling, he started locking me up with a body lock, which is the same position where I show the baby lat drop on my Patreon. So I sit down to counter him with a balloon sweep which is great, but he rolls forward so I can't control him. 
Now, I just want to quick say that Cody was a great person to roll with because we had a good pace the entire time and tons of scrambling, which is a little bit of a spoiler alert because the next scramble starts once I go to reverse De La Hiva and I get a powerful control over his ankle. Let's see how it unfolds. <laughs> Cody starts off by turning into me and then he gives me his back, but this allows him to also do a rolling back take. I can't let that happen so I use the octopus guard to take his back and as he continues to roll, he's able to spin out into the front head. Unfortunately, as I'm locking up over the chin, he hits me with a sucker drag to take my back and I have my leg a little bit too far which allows him to put one hook in for turtle. Cody goes for that same armbar that we saw earlier but my turtle defense is getting slowly better so I can prevent that and we can get back to the fast pace rolling. For once he's taking a seat so I go right into the front head but instead of going to the guillotine, I roll through into a darse. I'm going to admit that I thought everything was locked up pretty beautifully but he did a nice job pushing my elbows so I had to roll backwards so he wouldn't keep the position but he kept control over my arm and I had to keep rolling with him and he ended up in top side control. I go for a risky option to get to turtle by just sitting up. Don't do this if they're going to throw a quick rear naked choke, but luckily I was able to get to the good spot and I could lift his leg so I could get out of turtle immediately and we get back to the frantic rolling, but this time I'm going to try a different approach. I push his weight forward so I can try and go at the back door and this sets up my ankle guillotine. I do a good job getting to my side immediately, but he's controlling enough of my right foot that I can't put in the butterfly ashi. Then he switches it up by going over the top and he puts me in a nasty position for a heel hook, which is forcing me to continue to roll through and I can go for the attack once again now that I'm safe. Now even though I like the ankle guillotine, you're going to see that it doesn't compare to a good heel hook or a knee bar. He has too much time that he can fight out of this even when I get to pretty strong positions because it just doesn't have the same breaking power unless you have the same build as Seabum. He did a good job turning the opposite direction so I lost the power on the ankle guillotine but I still have control over his leg. I'm going to use this so I can invert underneath him, potentially looking for another attack, and then I make my big first blunder. I stay a little bit too engaged for his foot, but I put my left arm in a terrible position. He scoops this up quickly and puts me into a Kimura grip, then rolls me all the way over into mount, switches it off into an armbar, and I've been caught and there's no way out of here, so I tap. After tons of action, we get back into it with round 2, with not much time left on the clock, but still enough time for things to happen. He starts going into my heel, so I fall to my back to protect myself a little bit, and do you remember this move that William Tackett did to me? I tried this exact same move on Cody, but he wouldn't let me lock up the figure 4, and he transitioned to his own heel hook. Luckily for me, the timer just ran out, so I was able to save myself from a terrible submission. This roll with Cody was extremely fun, and I really appreciate that he rolled with me. I know it's fun to win every single round, and I do it too, but when you can spend more time just learning, you'll get much better jiu-jitsu, so thanks to Cody for all the help. And if you want to get better in a different way, make sure to check out xmarshall.com. Their rash guards give you extra powers where you'll be able to scramble better, guillotine more people, and you'll even improve on your wrestling. Check out their website and use promotion code TYLER10 to save extra money and pick up yourself some nice gear.